we're trying to protect nature while also trying to you know improve the lives of people of local communities we're trying to build these nature positive or reef positive businesses like ecotourism programs uh, sustainable aquaculture within or around marine protected areas and this will in turn benefit local communities and at the same time protect nature so i think it's a very um, important thing that we're doing here we started the project two years ago we have been implementing a lot of work with the fishers with the governments to to find this right implication now we are in the action and to see exactly how we can improve uh, and what we have to improve uh, specifically. Oriental Mindoro has awesome coral reefs. They're beautiful. I mean, the diversity, the abundance, is, it's phenomenal. And I study corals and I'm, I'm totally in awe. There's a lot of fish as well. Um, the diversity of fish, abundance of reef fish, but I mean like everywhere else, the abundance and diversity is going down, both in terms of fish and corals. And the impacts, the stressors are the same. They're the same as they are all over the world. With uh, good, healthy reefs around the core zones, you can expect a recovery in like five years time. The work that Blue Alliance is doing is very interdisciplinary. So Blue Alliance has four pillars that we're working on, uh, community development, science and conservation, um, enforcement and compliance, and also sustainable revenues. Our Bantay Dagat is doing regular patrolling. They are covering the MPAs and also the outside the MPAs, the, the adjacent municipal waters. They are trying to apprehend uh, all Ill illegal activities within the area, and they are also protecting, protecting wildlife. What we're doing at Blue Alliance is that we are also assisting in paying the Bantai Dagat, and we've also increased the numbers of Bantai Dagat, and we, we are in the process of training them and getting them, you know, in the marine environment as well. We're getting them boats, um, we're getting them equipment, um, and they're going to complement the numbers of Bantai Dagat that, that exist. They have just bought a patrol boat, a speed boat, because before it's also one of the problem that uh, our fishers cannot uh, cope up with, with this, uh, in terms of speed with illegal fishers. But now we have the speed boat and I think we can be more efficient. So it's a range of jobs. Um, we needed a marine biologist. We were very lucky um, um, to get an excellent marine biologist. Um, we need technicians, you know, we need dive instructors, <laughs> we need mechanics. Um, so all these jobs are also coming along with the marine protected area. Our intention with ecotourism is to use ecotourism as a means of generating revenues with which we can fund marine protected areas. In specific areas in our sites, there is a very big improvement, like a, you observe the presence of uh, rare and um, endangered species. Underwater, there's so much life, so much diversity, uh, uh, but if we just help it a little bit, that's our role, we will be uh, uh, with governments to work together on this, uh, it should come back. <laughs>